78 Sports TV here. So I'm checking out my boy Boxing Beast and Rhymes page. Doing it from Boxing Beast and Rhymes channel. This is Tony Thompson. Chilling with Boxing Beast and Rhymes. Hey, Glenn, you chilling with Boxing Beast and Rhymes. This is that Mayor Hawk Four Man Store on Boxing Beast and Rhymes YouTube channel. I don't know if you're an answer. Possible Manny Pacquiao fight with Boy Mayor how do you feel about that? Well, I mean, basically, I mean, it's a fight that still has a potential to happen. Scrappy first round, Solomon bundles in, stifles his own work. Two clean punches is what I see. One, a Taylor jab and an overhand right later, and he wins that round. Taylor too big for Solomon to bull and maul around. And, um, <sighs> Scrappy, I'd give it to Taylor. Three, Solomon landing sneaky jabs. And hooks managing to turn Taylor now, who isn't tying him up as effectively as he was in the first two. In the fourth, Solomon a little busier. Not sure if it's judge-friendly boxing by him, but he may have scraped it. Five, Taylor shades another scrappy round. Solomon lands a good right, though. In the sixth, Taylor managing to get jabs and rights off. Solomon told to stop lunging in. In the seventh, Solomon pays for lunging in and gets caught with a left hand jab counter that puts him on the floor. Solomon is rocked again and he was lucky in my opinion that the bell rang. In eight, Solomon going for a rough patch because lunging tactics are becoming easy prey for a jab like Taylor's. Taylor doesn't have to expand too much energy to contain Sam either, so he's a smaller man too. Solomon down from the left right, Sam injures his right leg way behind on points now. In the ninth, Taylor Against his now one-legged opponent, lands a big left to open the round, catches Sam with a right coming in, Sam drunkenly tries to keep his balance and stumbles down. It's called a knockdown, but that's incorrect, it wasn't a knockdown. The doctor evaluates Sam mid-round to see if he should let him carry on. I think his corner should have pulled him out, even though he didn't get hurt really bad, they should have pulled him out. Fight goes on, left hook freezes him, he goes down again, a combination of a right hand and a push. And Taylor stumbles on top of him, but it's no knockdown. Couldn't separate the two in the 10th or the 11th, but a left and right combined with Sam's leg giving out is scored a knockdown. Solomon needs a stoppage, and he's not a big puncher even with two good legs. I gave Taylor the last round 10-8 because it was a punch assisted with Solomon's leg that gave out again late in the round that put him back down on the floor. And yeah, Jermaine Taylor, two-time middleweight champion. I had it. Wide, wider than the judges. I had it 118, 106. Convincing. Not in a rush to see Sam Solomon fight again, to be honest with you. There is a skill set there, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. It's just not my ideal style of boxing. Everyone has their ideal style of boxing. There is a skill set there. I would watch him if he fought his way back into contention. Let's not get that twisted at all. But Taylor, you know, done what he had to do. Boxing is about being an opportunist taking advantage of any good fortune that falls your way and that's what he did so he's the new wbo middleweight champion hassan and dam awaits in the wings after defeating curtis stevens last week that might not be an all-out brawl and dam and taylor but it would definitely be an aesthetically cleaner fight to watch and more pleasing to watch than sam solomon who just awkward you know he tries to get inside and then turn twist and pull you all about the place which is a good style it's a good style that's effective for him but sometimes it's um it's a bit hard on the eye it's a bit hard on the eye but we'll see taylor versus endam is good for me and it's good to see taylor two-time champion coming back from a lot of adversity you know so um well done well done well done